Hi, Stanley here, and today we're looking at how to clear this uh, the pimples or freckles on this lady's face, and then how to smoothen the skin evenly using uh, frequent separation. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is um, try to clear the dark spots, and I'm gonna use the spot healing brush. So we're going to use the spot healing brush and the shortcut for that is uh, J. So I'll resize it to a good size. Press Ctrl 1 to zoom the image to 100%. So I can see everything well. And I'm going to... So at least I'm trying to reduce the dark spots as much as possible. Then I will use the frequency separation later to smoothen or to even out the skin so that everything looks uniform. And hey, you have to have to take your time and then clear the pimples or the dark spots one after the other. So I'm trying not to remove everything so that at least the image does not look too fake when we are done trying to just get rid of the very visible ones the very large spots and then uh, hoping that the frequency separation will do a better job for us control zero yeah so I think we've uh, cleared a bit of the dark spots so now let me apply my frequency separation and so for the frequency separation, I'm going to use an action which um, I bought from a course from the legendary photographer Danny Diamond. I'm just going to play the action. Here we go. Okay. And then the radius, I'm going to maintain it at 12. It's okay. And it's going to group. Uh, a place for me to do the frequency separation, put the eye whitening and the toning and everything very orderly. And if you want to have access to this action, you can send me a message uh, or comment you want the action, and I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link to where you can either buy this particular action. But if you want it free, I think there are several free actions on, on YouTube, so you can search for free actions. So on the loops, I'm going to pick the lasso tool, lasso tool, select a broad area like this, and I'm going to fill, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm also going to change the radius to 12. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to use the same technique all over. So, to repeat the same technique, Alt Control F. And then, so whenever I select now, instead of going back to Blair, Gaussian Blair, and those that press Alt Control F. And then, it just does the frequency separation by smoothing that area nicely for me and that will make it look fake it looks so real so I guess we're done with uh, the skin at least I haven't cleared it 100% because I don't want really it look fake but at least I've reduced it drastically I'm going to sharpen the eyes make sure the foreground color is white Change the opacity to 70. And paint over it to sharpen the eyes. I want to darken the pupil. I still pick the foreground color white. Change the opacity to 20. And darken the pupil a little bit. 
for the teeth i'm gonna use 100 percent opacity paint over the teeth to whiten it a little bit and then the white of the eye same technique paint over it well and the eye looks very bright but for this action if, if i just want to add more white to the eyes i can paint it but i think the eye looks good here the last thing i want to do is to work, um, work on the toning toning so press f10 boom and i press f10 because hey, the ideal thing would be that to change the color feel then the what color balance boost the levels and all this but this is a technique I use, so just to shorten it, I've saved all this action into F10. So when you have access to this action, actually, F10, and then it will just apply all the settings to it for you. And then you can still go ahead and then edit it manually. So as you can see, if, if I move it here, the color is changing. So you can actually change. The color to it you want, but I really like this kind of look to it. Here's the before, here's the after. Here's the before, here's the after. Okay. So, can you leave us a comment to know if you have, you've learned something or there's something you want to know?